Vacation is the latest EP from Nyomza, who joins us here in San Francisco. Hello. Welcome, welcome. It is freezing in here, and that's why we're all bundled up. It is cold. I have to apologize. I should have greeted you properly. Mer Merdita, si si Gianni. Oh my god. That was pretty good. Siene. Siene. You said Medita really good, though. Oh, really that well. one was easy to practice. That, I was not expecting you to just speak Albanian right now. I, I'm trying to do but as much research. But mir te chushie. Po. <laughs> you said, I said, hey, I said, good, how are you? You said, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you studied that. That's so cute. This is a fortuitous moment, too, because you just released your first EP under the Motown label. Yes. Which I think is amazing. Congratulations Thank on you. that. Uh, you being from the Midwest, did, did you have any Motown influence at all or anything like that? I know Chicago, Detroit is separated, but... I mean, Motown has so many classics. I feel like everyone's low-key influenced by Motown. Like, there's no way not to be. Yeah. So, definitely, for sure. It's just soul. You can't, It's undeniable music. So yeah. It definitely, definitely is. If you if you look up you know your history, obviously people will notice. Oh yeah, you, you started off doing covers, yeah. and you were into EDM, and uh, obviously got discovered by Mac Miller, and, and the story continues from that perspective, dabbling in EDM and and also hip hop as well, and, mm -hmm. and getting immersed with the Chicago scene over there. What was your musical influence growing up? What was your family listening to? Well, my um, I'm Albanian, as we know. Um, and po. Po. Um, and I think really my influence growing up my sister listened to a lot of R&B music my older sister is five years older than me so she was always listening to R&B music and so I kind of just grew up hearing that um, once I got into middle school I was really into rock music and like pop rock that whole scene um, was pretty popular in my town at the time so I started a band at 13 and like did all that. Uh, and it's just like changes. As I get older, uh, it's constantly, constantly changing. I'm inspired by everything that's around me, so. When you started Scarlet and you did the <laughs> Yo, rock thing. You did really great research. Except for your name screwing up it. that you'll see in the, uh, <laughs> in the outtakes. <laughs> I love this. When you did start Scarlet, though, yeah. uh, it was you and a bunch of friends, and you, what, what was the sound that you were going for? Because, you know, going to Chicago, Fall Out Boy, yeah. and, you know, so forth. With I mean, that was definitely an influence. I was, like, obsessed with Paramore, still am. Um, so I just, I wanted to start a band and just have fun on stage and rock out, like, the people I was idolizing at the time. Um, so it, it was, like, a very cool time uh, when I was like from 14 to 16 there was all these bands playing locally there were shows happening every weekend and once I hit junior year once I turned 16 17 that's when I started listening to rap music Mac Miller it was Wiz Khalifa Kid Cudi that whole era um, and I was really influenced by that and pop music as well so I kind of dove into other worlds but before then I was very like this is what I do, I'm rock and roll, and this yeah. is it. Yeah. And then, I don't know, I started smoking weed, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hmm, I want to listen to some other stuff now. Yeah, well, you know rock people smoke weed, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, not saying that that doesn't happen yeah, at yeah. all. Yeah. I just, I think I was very um, stuck in one way, and, I mean, I was very young, 14, yeah. 15, 16. I was very influenced by everybody around me, and I think I just got... A little bit older and wanted to explore and kind of find myself and find my own sound rather than just trying to do what everybody else was doing right so this is your second EP mm -hmm. vacation and you've described this as kind of this piece of work that'll just transform you take you to a different place yeah sonically emotionally without really having to leave yeah what was your headspace when you were putting this material together uh, you know post breakup uh, in love um, I just wanted to make something that felt freeing and light and not as dark. Um, I was in a space where I did want to let go and kind of get in my own head to find a way to get out of my own head. So uh, I think that happens when you kind of let go and 
explore your options and you can let other people be that vacation for you or you can be the vacation for somebody else. It's just in that realm. I know I'm not the only person that's thought this. When I first listened to the EP, I was like, what am I listening to right now? I hear Timbaland type beats. I can hear Ali- Aaliyah singing some mm. of these songs. Wow, that's Lonely, like a really big compliment. Lonely Nights, Me and You, I was like closing my eyes, it, going off into this dream world wow. like you described, right? And then I thought about it and I was like, all right, let me do a little Googling. And I saw that you did an Aaliyah cover. Aaliyah cover, yeah. You were bored one day and yeah and you did are you that, that somebody yeah yeah mm-hmm. was she one of, of your influences for sure i mean her voice is so angelic i think definitely she influenced that kind of softer tone in my voice when i when i get into that side of it um for sure a major influence what about the sonics like i said musically i was just listening to Karen the beats Timbaland. before you even started singing was timbaland i love i just like hard-hitting beats i yeah. like i like hard-hitting beats and i like to sing pretty over them there's just something that yeah. i like to do it's a nice contrast yeah bb rexa recently tweeted about how much she wants to collaborate with her fellow albanians yes could do something with dua uh, Rita Ora, yeah. and then your name got thrown into the mix. Yeah, because of Gashi. A- um, my friend that's a rapper, his name is Gashi, he tweeted at BBRX and he was like, at Neomza. And then she was like, yes. And I was like, okay, this is sick. Uh, I definitely responded. I think, I forgot, I think I sent like hearts back or something like that. But I would love to work with her. I'd love to work with anybody that's doing something amazing coming out of Albania. I mean, I got to support my people. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, you're doing great. Thank you so much. Can't wait for this new album. Thank you. And uh, great to meet you. You too. Awesome. It is Neomza. You're watching B-Sides on air. B-Sides. Woo!